Welcome to another quick tutorial regarding um, Adobe Animate. Uh, I was asked specifically how to get that effect with the mouth going from one mouth shape to another, as you see here. So let me just quickly dive in and show you. It won't take too long because it's actually a very simple animation technique. So inside of this symbol, is where all the animation takes place, right? We're inside of pig bounce, which is a graphic symbol. And as you can see, as I play it, the pig bounces up and back down again, and just repeats in this loop. Pretty straightforward stuff, classic tweens with easing. But what's happening here also during this is the mouth goes from sort of an ooh to a big smile shape. And so how's that being done well inside here this is the mouth layer okay this is all it is it's just a symbol that's being classically tweened along with all the rest of the pig shapes right but if we double click inside the symbol let me make that a little bit bigger you'll see if i lock all the layers you see the animation taking place and that's all this is, is just a loop, but it's also using an animated mask. If I unlock all these layers, you'll see the actual mask uh, effect taking place. So here on the top layer, in the mask layer, is just this vector shape. It's green, just because I chose that color, just to make sure as a, a sort of visual reminder that that's my mask shape. And it's simply being shape tweened to go from this shape to this shape and then back again. So it loops seamlessly back and forth. And so on this bottom layer is just this one big shape. It never changes. And on the next layer above that, both layers are part of the mask, by the way, is the tongue shape. And when we lock all the layers, the mask is animating to reveal just a different shape over those two mouth shape assets that I created. Now, if we wanted to say continue this into a different mouth, I can extend this timeline and hit F5 on my keyboard to extend the timeline out. Let's create another keyframe here. I'm gonna hit, you can either click this button here on the timeline or hit F6 as a shortcut key. And let's just make a totally different shape. Now shape tweens inside of animate uh, can oftentimes work in unexpected ways. So maybe we'll get lucky here. I'm going to create another keyframe and I am going to make this a totally different shape for the sake of, of showing you. Let's make him look maybe more scared or something or just something different. Whoop. So I'm just using the selection tool. I might sometimes also, you can see there's a lot of I use the sub selection tool. You can see there's a lot of points here. What I'm going to do is grab the selection tool again, select the shape and over here in properties panel in the shape options section, I'm going to hit smoothen a few times. That's going to reduce uh, the number of points and just smooth out the lines a little bit. So now if we apply a shape tween and then actually what I'm going to do to soften the tween itself. I'm going to select one of the frames inside the shape tween span. Go to the tweening section of properties and I say ease in and out. Double quick, double click on quad and then lock the layer and you'll see I created a whole new mouth shape. And while we're at it, let's continue this loop extend this out a little bit. I want to create a keyframe a little bit further down the timeline and let's just bring this mouth back to its original shape so that when the playhead returns to its first frame, it's just going to loop seamlessly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a frame that this shape is in. I'm gonna hold down the option key on my Mac, click and drag it. And it's just going to duplicate that and make it a keyframe wherever I, you know, stop dragging. So you see what I did there, and I'm going to create another shape tween, ease in and out, lock the layer, and now this will loop seamlessly. 
And if you want, you can always go back in and change the shape if you're not totally happy with it. Maybe we do something like this. Whoops, there we go. Okay, now just remember what we wanna do then is copy, select copy, and then let's paste it into the previous keyframe. There we go. So now back out on this timeline, I'm telling this, you'll see here, right? Let's go back to this on the parent timeline. Let's go to this first keyframe, find this guy. You'll see I'm telling it, if I click on the mouth symbol in looping, I'm telling it to stay on frame one. I don't want it to start playing yet. When it gets to the top, when it's in view, I tell it to, you could say, have it play once or have it loop, and it starts to play the nested animation inside. If we select that mouth here on this frame 25, I'm gonna go to frame picker because it's more uh, visually uh, obvious what's happening. And I go to, let's say, frame 28 and tell it to loop. It's now going to play the, the new mouth shape that we created, that section of that timeline. So maybe he looks a little scared instead. Let me close this. So that's how I'm also uh, controlling the mouth nested animations uh, inside that symbol as well. So that's how I am, um, you know, I could extend this timeline out, like duplicate it and have him look happy when he bounces up once and the second time looks scared. There's so many things you can do with it once you've nested it inside of a graphic symbol. Um, so that's how it works, all right? Double click here, it's a mask. Uh, an animated mask with the shape tween. And then on the parent timeline, I'm controlling that using frame picker or just inside the looping panel itself. And that's really it. I hope this helps.